There it is, yeah. So it wasn't my, it wasn't my gallbladder, it was my appendix. So if all goes well tonight, it'll be my gallbladder tonight. <laughs> anyway, lots changed since I did the comedy for the first time. I gotta take these off. It's fogged up. Lots changed since I did comedy for the first time. Uh, for example, I stopped going to the gym. Cancel yeah. my gym membership. <laughs> so I figured if you're gonna make it in comedy, it's, you should be fat and gay. <laughs> I'm not gay, so. <laughs> I'm not gay, but I was in a gay relationship for a little bit. <laughs> so, hear me out. Don't touch me. <laughs> I take my dog to the vet. And uh, he usually likes the vet. He's a pretty good vet. He really enjoys going to the vet. And uh, the vet stuck with the mom in his bum. He didn't like that too much. So it's kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Started to freak out and So the vet's like, hold, hold him tight. So I'm holding him tight. I'm, I'm squeezing him. Yes, I'm that guy that kisses his dog. Okay. Aww. So I'm holding him. I'm trying to keep him calm and everything. And I'm calm. I'm like, oh, calm down, buddy. And I'm giving him kisses and everything else. And I didn't realize that the vet asked his assistant to also hold the dog. <laughs> so this guy's got big hairy arms. So to my horror, when I opened my eyes, I realized I was kissing his arm. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't know what to do, so I asked him out. <laughs> it took me four months to work up the balls to tell him I wasn't gay. <laughs> I do miss him though. I miss his cooking. Uh, I still can't walk right. <laughs> I am single now though. Uh, sometimes when I'm out on a date, I wonder if people are looking at us and thinking, damn, she's lucky. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm i single, I do date a bit, I never lie to women about my dick size. I know guys lie about their dick size all the time. I don't lie about it. What I do is I tell them I'm Chinese. <laughs> that way when they see it for the first time, they're not disappointed. <laughs> but um, that doesn't work when you date a Chinese chick, because they'll call you out of it. <laughs> They'll still suck your dick, but they'll bitch about it the whole time. It's like, you know, I knew you weren't Chinese. I was going to introduce you to my parents. You know what I love? You guys watch those videos? I coach basketball, by the way. I have three passions. I love kids, I love animals, and I love veterans. And I love those videos of, you know, special needs kids, whatever. They're so passionate about their school team. And they, you know, the, the kids are out there, they're cheering on their school team, and they're, they're just the most passionate kids, they're like the greatest fan. It's so great for school spirit, it's so great for the sport. And then the coach will give them their jersey, their own little jersey, and they'll put them on the court, and the other players will kind of back off a little bit, and they'll scoot them up to the basket, and they'll let them shoot and get his basket for the first time. I'm wondering when the Raptors are going to let Drake get his basket. <laughs> Have you ever been uh, getting head from your partner and look down and they get jealous because they're having way too much fun? <laughs> like they're just enjoying it more than you? It's just a question I wondered if you would know, answer. <laughs> have you ever dated someone and you came on scene and you realize they're slow? Or you've already introduced them to all your friends so you gotta come up with something? Some kind of excuse? So I, I tell my friend she's autistic. <laughs> but, but, not, but not autistic, like genius level autistic, you know, like that surgeon at John Hopkins, you know, the one that separated the Siamese twins. So, so the other day I hear her in the, in the back room talking to her sister, and she says, No, no, he's autistic, you know, like that surgeon at John Hopkins. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that's my bit. I did have a magic trick, but I forgot my, uh, my prop for it, so I apologize. But uh, anyway, I'm a great Canadian asshole. Thank you, you've been great. Thank you.